The floods have submerged a third of Pakistan, affecting more than 30 million people. But it is Sindh that accounts for most of the casualties. The province was first hit by unusually heavy rains, a whopping 500% more than the seasonal average, which flooded large swathes of land and decimated crops. Matters were further complicated when floodwaters from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Punjab flowed downstream through the River Indus into Sindh. Since June, the province has been in a limbo as people wait for the water to recede. Researchers say that flood water in the lower Indus basin remains for as many as 425 days on average. It can even stretch up to 800 days of stagnancy. If you're wondering why the water is taking so long to recede in Sindh, well, here's why. Let's start with topography. As Sindh is closer to the sea, the land is relatively flat. To put it simply, the land slopes are gentle and drainage is poor. The Indus River flows at a higher elevation compared to its flood plain. Consequently, the spilled water and water collected in depressions would not return back to the river channel. Which leaves us with two options. You either pump the water out or let it stay stagnant and dry up through evaporation. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. Man-made factors have complicated evaporation. When there's more water than the land can absorb, it flows over. This is called water runoff. Now, roads are generally built higher than surrounding lands, preventing water from receding. Now, hydrologist Dr. Hassan Abbas says the embankments that have been built throughout since floodplains prevents it from draining to the river or to the sea making it, well, you guessed it, stagnant. And this stagnant water doesn't get absorbed in the ground either because the soils in Sindh have extremely low permeability. Lastly, climate change. Since 1965, monsoon and summer season are gradually getting intense each year. This has significantly affected the flow regime and the amount of water flowing through the river Indus. So, what can authorities do? Well, for starters, we need to factor in climate change into our development plan. Water expert Essen Ligari says the best approach would be to install stormwater management system and upgrade land drainage systems. Then, we need to remove encroachments on natural waterways. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, we need to adapt climate change rather than living with the eventuality of future floods. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Dawn News English.